today's video we will be solve starter 43 problems so the first one is burgers it is quite easy one the name of the problem is also burger and the statement is saying that safe is fond of burgers and decided to make as many burgers as possible safe has a patties and b buns to make one burger you need safe needs one patty and one bun so we have to find a maximum number of burgers that safe can make input from it is t which is number of test cases and each test case consists of two integers which is a number of patties and b number of buns and we have to output the maximum number of burgers safe can made the constraints are quite simple a and b belongs to 1 to 10 to the power 5 and the range of t is 1 to 10 to the power 3 so you will not get tle then the simple input is the first a and b so they um, output the minimum value of a and b in this case we will output 2 in this case we will output 17 yeah, you can also read the explanation so let's move to the next one which is waiting time the statement is safe is eagerly waiting for a piece of information his secret agent told him that this information would be revealed to him after k weeks x days have already been passed and safe is getting restless now and find the number of remaining days safe has to wait to get the information and it is guaranteed that the information has not been revealed to the safe yet and the input format to this problem is t which is number of test cases and two integers k number of weeks and x is the number of days passed and we have to output the number of remaining days that safe will have to wait for the piece of information and here are the constraints it is also quite simple you can also read that and the sample input each and the first one is 1 and 5 okay here 1 week which consists of 7 days and the second x is 5 which means 5 days has passed so remaining days equals to, is, is equals to 7 minus 5 which is 2 so what will be your answer your answer will be 2 finally your answer will be k into 7 minus x this will be your answer hope you guys understand this let's move to the next question which is dna storage the statement is saying that for encoding an even length binary string even even length binary string into a subsequence of a t c and g so first of all what is a subsequence a sub sorry a subsequence a subsequence is a part of the array after removing none or some elements without changing the order for example if my array is 1 0 and 2 so subse subsequences will be 1 it may be 0 it may be 2 these all are subsequences of this array also 1 0 will be subsequence 1 2 will also be a subsequence and 1 0 2 will also be a subsequence 0 and 2 will also be a subsequence in all these i have not changed the order of any so okay let's move to the problem uh yeah binary string into subsequence of a t c and g we we iterate from left to right and replace the characters as follows 0 0 is replaced by a 0 1 is replaced by t 1 0 is replaced by c and 1 1 is replaced by g and here is the input format t which is for number of test cases and every test case consists of n which is the length of the string binary string and the following binary string and we have to output the encoded subsequence for example in the first case which is a is 20 the binary string is okay, um, let's take s the string is 00 and n which is length of a string is 2 okay so what will be your answer your answer will be 00 is replaced by a your answer will be a so how do you do that i 
आइट्रेट फ्रॉम आई इक्वल्स टू जीरो टू एन माइनस वन या एन माइनस वन एंड चेक इफ ए स्ट्रिंग्स आई इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो एंड स्ट्रिंग्स आई प्लस वन इज इज ऑल्सो इक्वल्स टू जीरो देन प्रिंट ए या ऑल्सो सिमिलरली चेक फॉर जीरो वन सिमिलरली चेक फॉर वन जीरो एंड सिमिलरली चेक फॉर वन एंड वन एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस चेक्स प्रिंट ए वॉट इज द प्रिंट ए टी सी एंड जी ए टी सी एंड जी अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस चेक्स प्रिंट ए टी सी एंड जी एंड इंक्रीमेंट आई बाई टू आई प्लस इक्वल्स टू टू या बिकॉज इट इज अ बाइनरी स्ट्रिंग यू विल चेक जीरो एंड फर्स्ट एलिमेंट नेक्स्ट वी हैव टू चेक सेकेंड एंड थर्ड एलिमेंट ओके सो लेक्स नेक्स्ट मूव टू द नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम विच इज ज्वाइनिंग डेट एंड द स्टेटमेंट इज सेंग दैट एन कैंडिडेट नंबर फ्रॉम वन टू एन ज्वाइंस फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट फाइव कैंडिडेट ज्वाइन ऑन द फर्स्ट डे and then on every subsequent day the next five candidates join in for example if there are 12 candidates candidates number from 1 to 5 will join on day 1 and candidates number from 6 to 10 will join on day 2 and remaining two candidates will join on day 3 and the candidate numbers numbered k decided to turn off his offer and thus safe will have to adjust the position of the higher numbered candidates this lead to a change in the joining day of the sum of the candidates and we have to help safe to determine the number of candidates Who will join on the different day than expected, and the input form is T test case and two integers n and k. N is total number of candidates, and k is the candidate number who declined, yeah, who declined the offer. And we have to output a single integer denoting number of candidates whose joining date will be changed due to the k. And here are the constraints. Let's copy the input. okay this is the input yeah okay there are seven candidates let's make an array to understand this first ओके आर सेवन कैंडिडेट सिक्स एंड सेवन ओके सो इन द क्वेश्चन यू इट इज सेइंग दैट द फर्स्ट फाइव कैंडिडेट्स आर ज्वाइनिंग ऑन द फर्स्ट डे सो लेट्स मेक अ लॉट ऑफ फाइव कैंडिडेट्स First, make a lot of five candidates. One, two, three, four, and five. This is the first lot. Okay, and this is the second lot. Second lot consists of only two two candidates. And it is also saying that the candidate number three, which is which means this candidate, is not joining. So we have to change the position of the this candidate to this. So how many position needs to be changed? Number of position needs to be changes one. So in this case, your answer will be one. You can also see that yeah one. Okay. So how will we calculate this? To do this, first we need to find the how many batches are formed. In this case, this is the first batch and this is the second batch. So first find number of batch 
or you can also say number of lot let's note it by lot is equals to check if every lot consists of five candidates so check if n modulo 5 is equals to 0 then lot is equals to if n modulo 5 equal, is equals to 0 then lot is equals to n by 5 otherwise otherwise lot is equals to n by 5 plus 1 okay and also check for what is the position of k which means that the candidate in is in which lot if the candidate is in second lot should i need to change any position the answer is no so in this case if there are six candidates and the last one needs to be declined the offer then i don't need to change the order of any candidate hope you had understand this so let's denote position of candidate also repeat this if k modulo 5 is equals to 0 then the position of candidate will be in k by fifth lot otherwise he will be in k by 5 plus 1 lot okay and your answer will be lot minus position of candidate okay let's write on this in the first case okay let's check the first one n is equals to 7 so the lot lot will be n modulo 5 is not equal to 0 then the lot will be 7 by 5 plus 1 the 7 by 5 is 1 plus 1 which is 2 lot is equals to 2 and the position of candidate is 3 so 3 modulo 5 is not equal to 0 then position candidate will be k by 5 which means 3 by 5 plus 1 this is 0 plus 1 which is uh, yeah it will be 1 and we can also see that the position of candidate is in lot 1 and total lot is 2 lots so how many candidates need to be shifted so answer will be lot minus position candidate which is 2 you can run on the last test which is 14 so 14 modulo 5 is not equal to 0 so n by 5 n by 5 is 14 by 5 which is 2 plus 1 lot will be 3 and 2 position of candidate is in which lot we need to determine so 2 modulo 5 is also not equal to 0 so we will find k by 5 which is 2 by 5 0 plus 1 which means 1 position of candidate so how many candidates need to be shifted so candidates belonging to lot 2 and lot 3 needs to be shifted so number of candidate in this case answer will be 2 answer will be 2 and in first one answer will be 1 and in both answer will be 0 hope you understand this yeah you can also see the answer so if you understand all these concepts please leave a like and if you have any problem regarding these solutions let me know in the comment section and if you are not subscribed to this channel yet please subscribe to get the further update of this video and see you in next video thank you for watching this